three in the morning. After a night of scouting, you decide it's time to get out of here before the sun comes up. Upon leaving, you realise you are not alone. Your stomach feels weak, your mind uneasy. Suddenly, your heart begins to race. no escaping this feeling. You turn and head back to the security room. Hello? Hello? If you can hear me, listen to my words very carefully. You are not safe. That thing that you saw in the hall was a mannequin, and it's not alone. They're coming for you. Listen to me if you want to escape. See that monitor on the table? Approach it to take a look at the security cameras. As you can see, there are five mannequins. Only one of them is evil. Using the little arrows, or Q&E, will change the camera you're looking through. Every time you change to a different camera, you might see the evil mannequin change its pose slightly. Whether it rotates its body or moves its arm, something will be different. When you think you've got it, you can click on a mannequin to mark it. There are four marking colors. Use these to your advantage. I recommend using red as evil, blue as watching, yellow as unsure, and green for safe. When you've made your choices, press escape to leave the camera. head to the door and left click on it to enter the room with the mannequins. Now that you're in the room with them, do not, I repeat, do not walk close to the evil one. You can walk close to the others and you'll be fine. Luckily, what you've marked will remain marked as you're passing by. Now make your way to the exit. Great job, kiddo. I knew you could outsmart these things. Keep that walkie-talkie. I don't think this is the last we'll see of them. Welcome back, I suppose. The mannequins will not change positions or move in any way this time. Instead, you need to check their shadows. 
The evil mannequin's shadows will not match their pose. So if a mannequin has their arms down, but their shadow arms are up, you know that's the evil one. You also have an additional camera control this time. You can click this new panel to change the direction of the lights. Use that if you get stuck. Back here again, hey? All right, this time there's two evil mannequins, which means you may not have a secure way to escape. You'll notice there's also some glowing rings on the ground. If you click on one of these, you can turn on the light above that ring. Click again to turn it off. Any evil mannequins caught in the light will not be able to attack you when you get close. So find the evil mannequins, and if you need to, turn a light on above them. There is a limit to how many lights you can have on, however. So be sure to strategize and check your limits on the clipboard before you get started. Back here again, hey? All right, this time there's two evil mannequins, which means you may not have a secure way to escape. You'll notice there's also some glowing rings on the ground. If you click on one of these, you can turn on the light above that ring. Click again to turn it off. Any evil mannequins caught in the light will not be able to attack you when you get close. So find the evil mannequins, and if you need to, turn a light on above them. There is a limit to how many lights you can have on, however. So be sure to strategize and check your limits on the clipboard before you get started. <laughs> Back here again, hey? 
Back here again, hey? All right, this time there's two evil mannequins, which means you may not have a secure way to escape. You'll notice there's also some glowing rings on the ground. If you click on one of these, you can turn on the light above that ring. Click again to turn it off. Any evil mannequins caught in the light will not be able to attack you when you get close. So find the evil mannequins, and if you need to, turn a light on above them. There is a limit to how many lights you can have on, however, so be sure to strategize and check your limits on the clipboard before you get started.